Hannah, the person that you're watching on this channel right now. So today I'm just gonna do a quick favorites video, uh, just to let you guys know some about my just to let you guys know about some of my favorite things um, of the moment. Favorite things of the moment, because remember, moments are all we really have. Let's begin! My first favorite thing of the moment is Ollie, my dog. My baby, baby, beautiful baby angel dog. She continues to be one of my favorite things of all time because, oh my god, I, I don't know if dogs can be soulmates. I've always been a cat person. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about my dog soon, but I just love her so much. Am I hugging the screenshot? I think I am. Right now, Ollie's in doggy daycare. That's why she's not in the video. But, you know, that's okay. It's okay for us to be separated sometimes. In fact, it probably helps with her separation anxiety and my separation anxiety if we don't just spend every waking moment together. Her doggy bed, though. My next favorite thing of the moment I want to tell you about, well, this one's not really of the moment because I love this all the time forever. So, favorite thing of the moment that is my life is green tea. I love green tea. This is some organic green tea I got from the farmer's market because I'm rapidly becoming that person. Oh my god. It's very nice and fancy. Um, it smells great. It's a gunpowder green. It's rich in antioxidants. Helps pull stuff through your body. Makes you feel good. Gives you clear skin. Now, when I'm not drinking loose leaf green tea, sometimes I get really indulgent and I get this green tea, which is imported from Japan. You can order it off Amazon, but I actually don't recommend you do that because the carbon footprint it leaves doesn't justify the happiness you get from drinking it. You know, make some green tea and put it in the fridge if you want ice cream tea. So this can actually just kind of makes me feel guilty. Guilty. Another one of my favorite things at the moment is reading my horoscope. Now, I've never really been into that stuff before, but I find it kind of pretty fun to do. Also, if you're thinking about a problem in particular, or something in your life you have trouble grappling with, you just need an answer, right? All you want is an answer, and maybe a horoscope will just help you get closer to an answer. It doesn't necessarily have to be this big woo-woo-woo kind of thing. It might just be helpful to you to be like, hmm, I'm thinking about that all the time. Maybe I need results. According to the Globe and Mail, my horoscope for today is make use of the approaching solar eclipse to get a creative project of some kind off to a flying start. If you pour your energy and enthusiasm into it now, you will build up the kind of momentum that carries you through to the end. Does that mean I should work on my second book? I should start working on my second book. I should start working on my second book. I should, I should. Anyway, take that with a grain of salt. Take everything with a grain of salt. I like adding salt to most things. Speaking of salt, speaking of salty, let's talk about my next section of favorites, food. Food, food, food. One of the foods I like to make when not drinking and cooking just for the sheer art and magnificence of my drunk kitchen is a food you might not expect because it's just so damn healthy. The fact of the matter is, I'm also one of those people that love to make kale chips. I know you guys probably hear about kale chips a lot because it's so damn easy to make. Rinse your kale, oil your kale, stick it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes, salt and pepper to taste. Add lemon if you want it to be really good or just add lemon pepper. Yeah, do that. Anyway, it's fun, it's easy, it's quick, it's delicious, it's guilt-free. It makes a great sound effect. And it's one of those snacks that basically everybody in LA eats. And I think everybody everywhere should eat it. It really is tasty. If you're like rolling your eyes right now being like, oh, kale chips, another person talking about fucking kale chips. You make kale chips tonight and tell me you don't like them. Tell me, tell me. Via Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, or Facebook. Links below. Mm. My next favorite food should come as no surprise at all. Cheese, obviously, delicious, yum. Oh God, this is a smoked Gouda. I love smoked Gouda. Oh, it's taking all my willpower not to eat this. What a gross misuse of willpower. Oh, that's the stuff. Mm. Oh, moderation. I get it. I get why I didn't want to take one bite. Oh God, I could just eat cheese. You know what goes great with cheese? Apples. Oh my God, cheese and apples? Holy guacamole. Okay, stop. This is how we get sidetracked. Other things that are my favorite things. Food, fun, fashion. I like fashion kinda, a little bit. I mean, okay, look, let me be honest. I really do like fashion. I just never felt like I had good taste because I really didn't know what my taste was. Now though, I get it. Here are two things that I really love. My favorite thing to put on my head, snapbacks. You can wear it in the front, you can wear it in the back. Aside from the things I like to put on the top of my body, let's talk about things I like to put on the bottom of my body. And I'm not mean shoes, though I do love shoes. Get ready for this. Pleather sweatpants from H&M. So they're really cool because they make you feel like Kanye West. Moving right along, um, let's see, sweatpants, hats, what else do I love? I love music. One of my favorite websites to use for finding music is Hype Machine, hypem.com. There's a lot of remixes, a lot of independent DJs. So if you're into that vibe, or vibey music at all, check it out. Uh, you can follow me, link below, blah, blah, blah. Ollie, food, 
fashion, music, what else do I love? Uh, books, I love books. Uh, a lot of you guys know my favorite book is Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke. It's great guys, it's great. If you haven't read it yet, do yourself a favor and read it. Speaking of more books, what you guys may not know is my favorite children's book is The Petite Prince. It's the story of a little boy who goes and travels among the planets and the stars and the journey that unfolds. I really, really recommend it. It's like this and The Alchemist, right? Like these are great books. Speaking of The Little Prince actually reminds me to tell you guys about my favorite social good campaign of the moment, which is The Collective Project. Now together with Microsoft, The Collective Project harnesses the collective power of students to affect positive change in the world. My favorite part of the Collective Project's umbrella of good is that one student from UC Berkeley, Go Bears, launched an effort called the Essence K Copridge Book Club. This effort is to provide much needed books for elementary schools and students who live in Southern California. For kids that can't afford them, can you imagine not having books? I mean, I don't know. That's, to me, really bad. Books were my safe space as a kid. And I think it's really important that kids are allowed to do that, to take that quiet time and dive deep into a world all of their own and just get some perspective. Because when you're that little, you have no choice but to like live in the world you live in. And the only freedom you have is in a book or YouTube. So in an attempt to get the word out they've launched, I give a book, hashtag I give a book, to help raise nationwide awareness for the cause. Now, as part of I give a book, I gave a book. The book I gave was The Little Prince. I think that I can't think of a more wonderful book for a child to read and to journey off into their own imagination with. My, am I Mr. Rogers? Who am I? Here's the best part. If you're thinking, wow, that sounds great, but I don't have any money, that's totally cool. If you are inspired to donate, just use the hashtag I give a book and the collective project and Microsoft will donate on your behalf. How awesome is that? Boom, period, done. If you use the hashtag I give a book, the collective project will donate to the Essence K Coperage Library on your behalf. That's it, that's all you have to do. All you have to do is allow yourself to care and do it for a second, and that's it. Anyway, so that's my favorite social good campaign of the month. I love stuff that's effective and easy and enabling. It enables you guys to participate without putting too much pressure on you. How cool is that? Brands, listen up, Microsoft is doing it right. Ugh, ooh, I'm sweaty, that's how you know I got up on my soapbox. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a good week. What are some of your favorite things? Do you want me to do more favorites videos? Do you want a more specific? Do you want like favorite clothes, favorite foods, favorite blank? Cause I can do that, you know? I just feel it's a, it's a, it's a talk about it. Okay, great, Mwah. have a great day.